division stage seven and it's the formal method of lung division. This is actually one of my favorite methods, so hopefully I'll manage to explain it clearly so that you can understand it. So we've got our calculation here, 8,643 divided by 15. Now, obviously not everybody knows their 15 times table off by heart. So to help us solve this calculation, we would encourage the children just to quickly jot down the 15 times table first. And this is where if you've got really good doubling and halving skills, really good mental, ad mental addition and subtraction skills, you'll be able to do this in no time at all. So let's have a quick go at it. 15 times by one is obviously 15. 15 times by two, we just double that, which is 30. 15 times by three, we just add these two together, which is 45. 15 times by four, we just double 15 times by two, double 30, 16. Let's leave five and instead let's go straight to 10. 15 times by 10, 150. 15 times by five is just going to be half of that, so half of 150, 75. 15 times by six, we just double 15 times by three, double 45, it gives us 90. 15 times by seven, no little double and half with halving trick for this one. We've just got to add 15 onto 90, which gives us 105. Then 15 times by eight, we just double 15 times by four, double 60, 120. And then again, 15 times by nine, we just add on 15 to the previous answer, which gives us 135. So there you have it, we've got our 15 times table and that only took about 30 seconds, which means we're ready now to solve the calculation and we've got all the answers we're going to need. So we start off by saying how many 15s go into the eight, remembering of course that's 8,000 and the answer is zero. So we just put a little zero there and then we move on to actually solving the calculation. Now we can properly jump in and have a look at the numbers. So we combine these two now and we say how many 15s go into 86? So we go for our 15 times table and we can see that the closest number is 75, so that's five 15s. Because it's five 15s, that five goes at the top there. Then the next stage is to take the answer to 15 times by five, which is 75, and that goes underneath. Now we need to subtract these two numbers. So six take away five, one, eight take away seven, one. Remember, of course, that's the 8,000 and the 7,000 there. So we've got that 11. The next stage now is to pull down the next number. So this four here, we pull down, and that now becomes 114. So then we ask how many 15s go into 114. We look at our time table facts, we can see it's 15 times by seven. So that seven goes at the top, and then the answer to 15 times by seven, which is 105, that goes underneath. Then again, we subtract the numbers. So four take away five, we can't do in this situation. So we're gonna to have to look at the tens column and we're gonna to have to exchange tens over. 14 take away five, that leaves us with nine. Zero take away zero, zero. One take away one, zero. Then we pull down the next number, which is three. So that nine now becomes 93. And we ask how many 15s go into 93? Okay, using our times table facts, we can see that 15 times by six is the closest answer. So that six goes at the top, and then the answer to 15 times by six, which is 90, goes underneath. Then we subtract the numbers. Three take away zero leaves us with three. Nine take away nine leaves us with zero. We've got no more numbers to pull down, and 15 will not go into three. That means we've reached the end of the calculation. So at the top, we've got our answer, 576, and this number at the bottom is our remainder. It's what's left over. So 576, Remained at three. That's division stage seven. I hope that was clear and easy to understand.